Hey everybody, Maria here with Fourth Dimension. Welcome. If you found me, there's probably a message here for you. Hopefully it's helpful and will give you some guidance and preparation for what's coming up. All signs. First card out as I have the Ten of Swords. Somebody's walking away from something, ending something. I feel like it might be um, the ending to some turmoil, some fear, some patterns of behavior, maybe a way of thinking. Um, I have the Seven of Wands partnered with the yeah Page of Wands. So again, the challenges that are coming in, I feel like are helping you make this decision to walk away from something. The challenges in the Seven of Wands is external, right? So these are real challenges. They aren't swords. They're not mental. It's not, it might create some anxiety with the Ten of Swords, uh, but it's like putting to bed and walking away and, and finally reaching, going from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords is ending. And it could be a pattern of behavior. You might be rescuing people. The, the, fe the feeling I get was that Page of Wands is that rushing in with this sense of communication, of passion um, to discuss, I guess, some of the challenges. And it could be another relationship. It could just be a uh, feeling of codependency that you're putting an end to. Tell me more. I feel like rescuing. It's like rescuing, rushing in and rescuing. Seven of Swords, which is the Deceit card, with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So this is slow going, and it's almost like you're maybe uncovering some truths about a situation that is helping you discern challenges and um, overcoming obstacles. That's kind of the vibe I get. Lots of cards coming out. I have the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Wands, with the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. So whoever um, the person is that you're walking away from, let's, let's take a minute for that. The Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands in the reverse is, is somebody who is eloquent, who talks a good talks a good game, is uh, flirtatious and charming and charismatic and uh, literally can talk the pants off you. <laughs> That's the person you're supposed to be walking away from that you're dropping, it seems. That's the energy. I don't know what else to say. They're very charismatic. I feel like you've been separated from this person for a while. You did walk away. You left this this and and again i'm going to go back to i don't know what it is in the energy but it's almost like i this person is kind of resistant to come back it's like spin the block but it's also they don't want to miss this opportunity because they realize that they didn't give enough to this relationship or situationship take it as it resonates um now here i have the six of pentacles with the knight of uh swords and the ace of wands so i feel like this person can't and won't um, get anywhere with you without telling you the whole truth. And I feel like that's what they're going to do is they're going to come in and want this brand new passionate relationship by coming in and being honest with you. Maybe not about everything. I think if they were totally honest with you about everything, um, you would never speak to this person again. You would drop this person, this energy like a hot potato. And I feel like your intuition is already kind of led you to the place of singlehood or, or separation from this energy already. And with the eight, or excuse me, the six of cups with the six of wands in the upright as this person is trying to come back due to nostalgia, due to like reconciliation, rekindling is the vibe I get is they want to rekindle this relationship, but they got to come clean and come correct in the upright to, in order to rekindle this relationship. I still get a sense of that seven of swords as you have an understanding of this character of the person that we're talking about. Um, you have an understanding that this person has a history of uh, flirtation and they're very attractive. Whoever I'm reading about is very attractive and they use that their looks, they use their charisma, they use their language. I'm gonna clean that up. Their gift of gab to um, not for the good. <laughs> <laughs> They've used it to get into multiple situations. This person has been in a long-standing relationship with in and out energies for a long period of time. And I feel like they know that you know, but they don't know to what extent you know. So guess what? The energy we're talking about, and I know this energy as well. I've been familiar with this kind of this kind of uh, person. This energy is very, very common actually in a long-term singlehood 
a relationship where they take situations and they spin it to self-centered desires and this person has done that for years and years and years so this person has a long list of partners um, multiple partners possible threesomes possibly with married folk possibly with a whole list of um, energy that fits and supplies them with a feeling of intimacy without commitment that's the best way to put it the issue is is that they can't get you off their mind and it's almost like they need to come in correct and they need to have this conversation with you about some of this uh, effery in the past in order to take away the swords and the wands and to have a passionate new beginning and part of this is giving more than they did before um, it, it might be love bombing it, it's kind of got a vibe of initial love bombing but I think it's going to escalate with this ace of wands to the six of cups to nostalgia because it's the love that they felt the the I think they're kind of sick and tired of of the immaturity that came and it's almost like the risk the risk that came with the playing yeah putting a death to it I'm not I can't make this up man I love tarot and it's the vibe I get is that they want to stop doing this kind of behavior. Uh, it doesn't serve them anymore. And they, I, I don't know if you two even had a full relationship, but I feel like you might have ended it uh, prior to it getting off the ground. And this energy um, that I'm feeling has some remorse and fear, complete fear about being completely transparent with you about um, the depth of their um, play. How about that? like they're not going to accept me if they knew all the things i've done and what they don't know is you already know you already know if you're watching me if you're even interested in tarot you're led through intuition to the to the right channel to the right story and so you kind of already know what's <laughs> what's been going on behind the scenes this whole time you might know about the stds the effery the lies the deception that has had in the background of this person's life that's leading them out of the wilderness onto the path that they're supposed to be on um you're watching this from a very safe and protected distance i feel like your um spirit guides are kind of really super protecting you from this person's energy and um the reconciliation without restoration without the person coming to they they don't want you to be in a situation where you redo the same cycle you've grown you've matured you've elevated you're healed in a lot of ways and it's not i think you might even healed where you're if, if you're still bitter about this whoever i'm reading for you're not healed you can be mad be mad at me keep the comments love y'all but the energy that i'm picking up on is you understand there's a difference between being mad at the human and being mad at the behavior and you're understanding that this person is was stuck in this you know like your energy's here and they were here and that's why it didn't work and that's why it didn't connect is you kept having expectations on somebody that could not provide it they could not meet that level of expectation they're in a completely different zip code literally energetically as you and so now they're trying to match you they understand they're watching you go forward they're watching you progress or watching your life get better they're watching good things they're this is the person that will sit up at night and worry and pray about the restoration of your relationship with them regardless who just left their place they're not thinking about that energy they're thinking about the reconciliation with you and quite honestly they want to be a better person and they just don't know how and they're afraid um, but they're they're getting to the place where they're getting sick and tired of being sick and tired that's the energy i feel it can go with a whole bunch of other behaviors this is just the energy that's showing up um this person yeah they're trying to be the emperor this i was gonna say this person's trying to get out of a king of wands kind of energy or queen of wands and it's uh those two make a great couple because they're both independent and they're not committed to really anything they're super interdependent now this person is going into an emperor balanced in all the other areas they also i feel like heavy king of pentacles so this person really focuses on financial and money and strategy and security uh self security future self future goals for themselves but i don't think that they ever took in consideration a relationship i think this person has always resigned they were going to be single even if they were with somebody they were never really committed i don't know how to say that but that's you know whatever um 
the high priestess, what's coming to me is like, again, your spirit tribe is telling me that this person, um, you're protected, but this person's waking up. They're trying to get this person's um, attention. They might even be cross-watching on this video. Uh, so if you are this person uh, watching, you're getting downloads. Yeah, justice. You're watching your person elevate. And if it's you that's elevated, congratulations. You're getting downloads. You're getting like download after download after download. You're getting educated at elevating through con like things that didn't make sense even a year ago completely have a different under you have a different understanding i keep going back to i don't know i did a reading a while ago about church and i think you're sitting in church listening to scripture and you're hearing it but it has a different meaning today a completely different meaning your relationship with your own deity is changing your relationship with your spiritual understanding of the universe and how it works is completely it's metamorphosis it's changing it's developing it's growing this is justice i think this person um that you reader are watching for that you walked away from this person um you have been praying for this person to wake the hell up and guess what i think it's happening um that's the justice. If there was a third party involved, they're no longer invested or in, your person is no longer investing in anything in that relationship. Excuse me. And I feel like the Knight of Cups is they're going to come and talk to you about this. Um, the Knight of Cups is also action in something they're passionate and loving. Like they're, they're wanting to mirror you. Not in a bad way. It's more like it's working in their life. They're watching you grow and they're like, whatever that was. I want, I would need, I want more of whatever they have, whatever they've done. Um, you might be doing really well health wise. You might be going to the gym. I see a lot of you are disciplined. You're changing your environment. Maybe a, several of you have moved, got new cars, purchased new things because it's there. It's, it's a status of your elevation of your, uh, consistency and discipline. I have the six of wands and the two, um, or excuse me, six of swords and the two of wands making, uh, currently sitting in a space of deciding if this person wants to even invest, can they come back? Are they, are they healed enough for you to listen to them? Will what they say carry any merit? It has been, it's been so long since I've approached my person, I don't know how to make it correct. Um, is it enough? I keep going back to, is it enough? Is it enough change? Is it enough? Is it enough? Cause they're not perfect, but who the hell is right? We all have issues and I want to remember all of, all of us to remember. Um, we, you know, like, Oh, this is, I'm sure I'm going to get some comments, but I feel like whatever lessons this person had to go through to learn, it's the same level of the, the, the bottom they had to hit, right? is the the trajectory so if they if they only fell two stories they have to climb two to get out and then they're going to elevate two that's four stories they have to climb the person that i'm talking about that i'm reading about has like thousands of stories they have fallen through their life they've hurt people they've been self-centered they have lied they have manipulated and over the years they are trying to climb out of this and they're almost to that to that level they're like right to the eyeball going is it enough have i have i elevated enough oh my gosh so you know this person has done a a lot of work um in their self i, I feel like they're still struggling with some stuff some significant issues uh, but they're better than they were better than the, like a year ago like uh 180 from a year ago even hmm tell me more about who i'm reading for Yeah, they're they're not thinking you're gonna accept them. It's a star in reverse, and it's like continued depression. It's and then I have the seven of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's they're they're feeling in a space of uh, fear of like hopes on dreams on not meeting their dreams, wishes unfulfilled. Um, they're feeling their hopes are like the the hour. I keep seeing a picture of you know sand of the hourglass falling through through the hands it's like slipping time is time is a i don't i'm sorry sometimes it's just a lot so i stutter a bit but hang in there with me whoever i'm reading for they're super nervous about it's been too long times times gone by so much so 
this person, you, may have already started another relationship. It's almost like it's almost been too long and it's been too much water under the dam. Like all this energy is shame and reg regret and fear and loss. And like they've already gone to this relationship funeral in essence, they're thinking there's no way that you're going to take them back. This is a lover. This is a divinely um, counterpart whom you've had an in and out relationship with. They still have a very um, high opinion of you. Let's just leave it there. They think you're cute as hell. This is their energy currently is loss. Is they're sitting in a space of loss and they're feeling like they've missed this opportunity with you. They want to come in and have a conversation. They are spying, I think, on you in a not directly but through like maybe fake pages <laughs> friends i don't know family this lack temperance um this king of cups so this person like i said it was a one-sided show so i feel like they gave energy to the wrong folks for sure their history of listening to their intuition has not served them well even though they have very strong intuition whoever i'm reading about is extremely intuitive your person but they weren't tapped in. Now they're tapped in. They're listening to their intuition. They're they're praying even. They're looking for the exit. You know, in a lot of situations, they're changing their life up in a good way. They're eating healthier. They're making common, like common ground decisions. They're showing up to work. They're giving the energy. I think they still don't know what their future holds, but um, they're looking for it. They're on, they're awake enough to look for it. And that's exciting. And they're making some choices they're making changes they're moving in away from the wands to the cups which is again elevation anything else this is a relationship that never got off the ground this person bypassed you they may have said they don't like you like that they might have said um they might have you might have approached this person asking for a commitment and they said no thank you or did not not say it but just didn't move forward it move forward towards it they bypassed their own. It's like, it, it, again, I'm going to go back to the prayer a minute. Um, this is where they have been praying for the love of their life. They've been trying to manifest a relationship that is equal give and take. They don't feel like they're taken advantage of. They're not lied to. They're not taking, you know, like the reason why this person has a commitment issue historically is the, it's, the, I feel like they, they look outward and say, oh, it's all the people that I'm choosing half truth it's the energy they're in so i always when i do a personal reading and i have the same kind of vibe my message to the client i'm sitting in front of is if you are tired of eating trout go fish where the walleye are right but if you're consistently pulling the same kind of energy towards you with a different skin suit with the same energy it's probably you right so this and i know that's tough but if you know if i want if I want a different outcome, I need to change how I am accepting energy, right? And that's the, the message. If I accept players, if I accept that, then that's what I'm going to get more of because I'm telling the universe, I'm aligned with this. This is what I want. And for a while, maybe this worked for you. This was the energy you sat in because this was attractive. Um, this situation was energetic and full of chemistry and a lot of passion. And then you held on and they just moved on to the next one because that was the energy of both of you, but you held on. That's where the pain came in. You let go now, you've elevated, and they're saying as they pray, and they're like, man, this is, I'm not happy with any of the options. Divine is like, well, then look, look back at this relationship because this was the gift that I gave you last time or maybe three times for several of you. This is a like a recycled relationship. This person's sitting in an Eight of Swords moment. It's like a ton of anxiety. But if this is my favorite, one of my favorite cards when it comes to the swords, because this woman is tied to these swords thinking she's a victim of her situation. I can't do anything about it. I'm powerless or I'm hopeless. I have, there's no future. There's no hope for reconciliation and the whole purpose of this is if they just looked at it from a different perspective, they just take off their toilet paper holds. <laughs> There's nobody in the cards. There's no anxiety except for them. They just walk. They just understand like, oh, I'm the creator of my own problem. No way. Yeah. If I just do that, they can get on their horse and come and offer you this opportunity. This is the current energy is they're sitting in identifying, oh my gosh, I'm the problem. I need to 
I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm the one creating this. So this is kind of a, like a light epiphany. I think they've been working on this answer for a while. They just haven't come to the fruition of, um, it's like, it's like testing the waters. Is this really my problem or is it this person? Cause I think for a long time you were considered when, whenever this wasn't reciprocated, whenever that occurred, you were the bad guy. And they went and told everybody else about how you shunned them and they smeared your name and they talked crap about you only to realize, oh man, I think I'm, I'm the problem here. There's the 10 of wands. I think not only is that your energy of you having dropped this, which is actually calling this person, giving them space, you know, to correct and come back corrected, but it's also them dropping all the effery, the shenanigans, the chicanery, whatever you want to call it, of the, um, the games, the, the habits, how about that? The habits that don't suit them. They don't fit in their life anymore because they're like, okay, if I'm going to give this thing up, by default, I have to give these other things up because they don't fit and they all kind of were interconnected like Legos, right? So when one fell apart, the rest, there was no need for the others. So whatever the one thing was um, that kept this person tied into the behaviors is they're letting that go. This is what they want. They want to come back and have a conversation full of anxiety, like I said, um, about a commitment, about creating that, that foundation with you, getting rid of the crap so they can actually have a solid foundation with you. Anything else? I think that's what they want, but their fear is and their anxiety about it is that you aren't going to accept them and they also have other commitments they have to close out. So other things, other stuff, other... They're in the, they're kind of going through their life picking out what they... what doesn't serve them any well and making decisions like all over the map. I kind of see them. Yeah, I got the Two of Pentacles along with the Two of Swords with the Three of Cups. That many of them have to make a decision to get rid of third parties. Many of them have to give make a decision to get rid of the energy that surrounds the um, third party atmosphere. How's that? I, I'm doing pretty good. I'm telling you, YouTube will get like, you know, if I start using my Italian mouth here. But I feel like whatever this person was really into... And there seems to be, um, it comes off as solid, stable, I want to be a husband or a wife, or I want to be a committed person. Historically, they might say that, but in the reality is they were in and out of a lot of games. I feel like even sleeping with the neighbors, you know, hanging out with the best friend's best friend, you know, um, si siblings, friends, you know, all this. It's just like everybody was an option. And, and, you know, like they were constantly exploring people to see if there was an opportunity to take whatever relationship or create a relationship out of it, these energies. And that's what they did. And that's what they're kind of like picking apart is saying, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to um, change up. So this is where they're sitting. They're in this deciding mode and they're kind of like. It's like the onion unpeeling. So once they start with that first layer, uh, by default, there's six other layers they have to walk through to get to the core of the issue, which is just insecurity. This whole thing is I'm not good enough. I don't value myself. And it's kind of a weird energy because this person has a very high opinion of themselves with an extremely low self-esteem. So I don't like to label folks, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying this person has spent thousands and thousands of hours searching for, seeking out situations that fed them energetically and then only to feel like crap about themselves and disheartened when um, they walk away from the situation. Um, they're, they're kicking themselves. So that's, if this reading resonated and you want a little bit more of a personal, deeper read, feel free to um, hit that link in the description box and we can schedule a personal reading for you. I'm also giving away 10 free 15 minute free readings in the month of July. I am traveling, so it's a little weird, but I will reach out um, next week um, on the website for the winners um, and list their names on there. And uh, if you're interested, please put um, a like, a heart in the comments. Um, you do need to be subscribed to the channel and feel free to share this if you know somebody who would benefit from this message. Love and light to each and every one. Until next time, take care and happy fourth.